Transferring your WhatsApp chat and media from your iPhone to a brand new Android phone has always been a really complicated and painful process. Even though there are a lot of softwares out there that helps you to do that, but sometimes they cost really expensive and do not always work all the time. Thankfully, during the announcement of the Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3, Samsung announced the support for transferring WhatsApp chats from iPhone to Android phone using its Samsung Smart Switch solution, which I have personally tested and it works really well and it's a pretty painless experience. And let me show you guys how in today's video. This video is brought to you by our e-store, Good News by KLGG. You can now pay for your favorite gadgets by 0% installment with your credit and debit card from 100 ringgit up to 6 months by checking out with IOU Pay. What's more, get 10 ringgit off and free nationwide delivery on your first purchase. Visit the link below to find out more. Now before we get started, here are a couple of prerequisites that you need to do before you start the process. Now, it is more on your Samsung Galaxy phone because you need to make sure that it is factory resetted or it doesn't have a previous instance of WhatsApp installed. Because if you have that, you might not be able to restore your WhatsApp chats and media successfully. Secondly, you need to ensure that your battery level on your Samsung Galaxy phone is at least 80% and above. Otherwise, Smart Switch is not going to work and it takes up a lot of power when you transfer your chats from iPhone to your Samsung Galaxy phone. And last but not least, you need to prepare a MFI USB-C to Lightning cable which comes default with your iPhone or if you don't have it, you will need to buy one. I do not recommend those non-authorized cables because it's not going to work properly. So after you have reset your Samsung Galaxy phone, all you need to do now is to plug in the USB connector of this Lightning cable on one end to the Samsung Galaxy phone and the Lightning connector to your iPhone. Sorry, and here we go. Now, what is going to happen right here is that your Samsung phone is going to charge your iPhone, right? Which is why it requires that much of power. So we're going to tap on Smart Switch right over here once we get this prompt. All right, so you need to have the latest version of Smart Switch installed and your WhatsApp updated to the latest version on your iPhone. Let's tap on Agree and allow all the permissions here. So it's going to connect to your iPhone and there is going to be a pop-up. Trust this computer. Let's tap on Trust and enter your passcode right over here. Once you're done, tap on Next on the Samsung Galaxy phone that you have here. So this is an S21 Ultra. So um, searching for data to transfer is going to take a while. So there you have it. So here are a lot of things, but today we are not going to transfer everything from my iPhone to the S21 Ultra, but we are just going to focus on WhatsApp. So let's tap on apps right over here and tap on transfer. Now it's going to check for matching apps and tell you which apps can be transferred and downloaded through the Play Store. So we are not going to transfer these three other apps right over here. So of course, most of you guys would have a lot of apps on your iPhone. You would see a lot more things because this is a factory reset iPhone. I only have WhatsApp installed and a couple of sample uh, chats right over here, you know, so that it doesn't make things complicated and take too long. So you will see this message to say, that says that you need to scan a QR code with your iPhone, which some Sometimes you do necessarily need to do so. And next, I'm going to tap on install. So here's the QR code, but having trouble scanning, you don't really need to do that because um, it's really up to you. But what I'm going to do is to go over to settings and go over to chats and tap move chats to Android. And once I'm here, I'm going to tap on start. There we go. It's starting to transfer. So this is where I think it's probably uh, a painful process even though i mentioned it is, it is it is a painless process because it is going to back up your entire iphone of course it doesn't back up the photos and the apps but if you have a lot of app data inside your iphone it is going to back up all of that because whatsapp basically stores all your chats and medias in a encrypted file which requires the entire iphone to be backed up and the samsung smart switch software will have to take that particular file from WhatsApp and unencrypt it back into the phone. So which is why you're seeing this sync icon, spinning icon right over here, just like how you see it when you connect your iPhone to your computer on iTunes, all right? So let's wait for the process to complete and we'll talk about it later.
All right, we have completed the transfer process. It definitely took a while, even though there is very little data on my phone. So expect to be a lot longer if you have tons of stuff on your iPhone. So let's tap on next on my S21 Ultra. Now, this is one thing really, really important. Make sure you turn off iMessage on your iPhone just in case you need to do SMS verification because sometimes it just doesn't get across to your phone even you if you have your sim right inside your samsung galaxy phone so make sure you turn off imessage on your iphone so let's tap on next and i'm not going to get my iCloud data tap on next and i'm all set all right so by now you should be seeing whatsapp automatically installed on your samsung galaxy phone let's go to our app drawer and here we are that's the whatsapp icon pretty nice green icon let's tap on it Right, as usual, tap on agree and continue. Now make sure you use the same phone number because if you don't, you will not be able to transfer your chats over successfully and make sure you change your number on your iPhone before starting with the transfer process. All right, so let's enter the phone number right now. All right, we're gonna wait for the SMS verification to come over. There you go, bingo. This is the screen that you will need to see it to have your WhatsApp chats on iPhone to be transferred successfully over to your Android phone. And what we're going to do now is to tap on start. Allow WhatsApp access to your contacts, photos, and media, and let the magic happen. All right, import has been completed. And tap, let's tap next, enter a name. I'm going to type my name, Warren. All right, and let's tap next. It's going to initialize, and let's find out whether it has successfully transferred all my media that I have on my phone here over to my Galaxy S21 Ultra. Okay, so next it is going to ask for a Google Drive backup because if you haven't been using an Android phone previously on that number, it will definitely pop up this screen. So I'm just not going to choose my backup and just press done. And there you have it, it's the exact same chat logs as you have seen back on my iPhone. And if we go over to the first chat, which I previously sent the media, the good thing is that you can still download that media and it works instantly. Now, one thing that I really like this entire transfer process is that it doesn't messes up my gallery. Now, if I go over to my S21 Ultra's gallery here, you will not see uh, other pictures. I mean, of course, I only have one here because that is the picture that I downloaded on my chat, but there are no other pictures of that chat right inside my gallery, which is why I like this transfer process so much uh, using Samsung Smart Switch. Now, I believe this solution will come to other Android phone manufacturers in the future because they have their own respective uh, phone transfer apps and WhatsApp will only just need to open up that API to them if they really want to expand that feature to other Android phones. All right, so that's pretty much on how you transfer your WhatsApp chat and medias from your iPhone over to your Samsung Galaxy phone. Sadly enough, this is now only supported exclusively on Samsung Galaxy devices with the latest Samsung Smart Switch supported. But you know, it's a pretty good feature and I think this will convince a lot of people who wants to move on from iPhone over to a Samsung Galaxy phone. So that's pretty much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to us for more tech videos and make sure you follow us on the usual social media channels as well. I'm Warren and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.